I've gotten a lot of comments asking how I dispose of my spent sulfuric acid that I produce specifically after dissolving something in piranha solution. As I've said before, I really enjoy chemical recovery, and I've never produced any inorganic waste that I haven't been able to repurpose, so today I'm going to show you how to recover and reuse really dirty sulfuric acid. This jet black sulfuric acid is from one of my failed experiments and it's far dirtier than anything I produced in my piranha solution videos. In order to purify my dirty acid, I first add it to a three neck boiling flask along with some sand and pieces of broken glass to act as boiling stones. I set it up for a short path distillation and add an addition funnel so that I can keep adding acid as what's in here boils away. I crank my heating mantle up as high as it'll go and at around 300 degrees celsius a lot of water begins to boil away. Water is always going to be the primary contaminant in waste sulfuric acid, as sulfuric acid is mostly used to pull water out of things or to drive dehydration reactions. With that in mind, the water distilling over does contain a good amount of sulfuric acid. You can test this by holding a piece of pH test paper in front of the steam, which will turn it a bright red, indicating that the steam is extremely acidic. With that in mind, the removal of water from dirty sulfuric acid has to be done under a fume hood. As the water boils away, the sulfuric acid that distills over becomes a lot stronger. Sulfuric acid is also nearly twice as dense as water, and because of this, it refracts light differently. As a result, you get this interesting ripple effect as the stronger sulfuric acid is distilled on top of the weaker sulfuric acid. This beaker is switched out every 15 minutes until the rippling effect no longer occurs, which indicates that I'm now distilling over 98% pure azeotropic sulfuric acid. At this point I just collect everything that comes over and I could keep going until the boiling flask is completely empty, but I want to show you something else first. First I want to test my distilled sulfuric acid against the store-bought stuff which I titrated to 91%. For this test I basically want to see how long it takes for each sample to eat through 4 sheets of 2 ply paper towel. These clips are both run at times 1.5 speed in order to save time, and even still you can see that the sulfuric acid drain cleaner from the store dissolves through the paper towels pretty sluggishly. It takes a full 30 seconds to get through, and this is partially due to the higher water content, but it's also because store-bought sulfuric acid contains stabilizers to prevent it from destroying your pipes. My distilled sulfuric acid not only dissolves the paper a lot faster, taking only 21 seconds, but it also looks a lot different as it dissolves through the paper. Specifically, it turns a lot blacker, and it also produces these very clean lines, which I find interesting. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to show you is another way to process waste sulfuric acid if you're freaked out by the whole, you know, distilling over 300 degree boiling sulfuric acid thing. For this method, I simply boil my sulfuric acid like I showed earlier until all the water is gone and it's giving off white sulfur trioxide gases. The acid is then filtered through sea light and collected, and the resulting solution is a clear amber color. This acid is also azeotropic 98%, and it's perfectly fine and usable for anything where a very small amount of contamination isn't a problem. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting, and if you'd like to see more videos on how I recycle my waste, you can leave a comment and I'll try to get around to it. And as always, follow for more, and if you want to see more exclusive content, consider subscribing to my YouTube.